Willie Collins has been blind for nearly 40 years, more than half his life. And for a long time, the Atlanta man has asked his doctors at the Emory Eye Center if there's anything that might help him. Well, recently, his doctor asked him to be the first Georgia to test a new bionic eye. And the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with the rest of the story. Beth? And Sine and Tom, this is just a fascinating story because when you look at him, Willie Collins looks like just a regular guy who's wearing sunglasses. But this system, this bionic eye allows him to see where objects are around him and where people are and where they're moving. Those are all things that Willie Collins hasn't seen for years. It's white, white, white. It's white. Little things like knowing what color his undershirts are matter to 78-year-old Willie Collins because for decades, starting when Willie was just a young newlywed, he's been losing his vision to an inherited eye disease known as retinitis pigmentosa. Collins says he's accepted blindness, but now this. This is black right here. I can't see out there. Quite. Right. Going to be a Wait. Line. Collins is the first patient at the Emory Eye Center and only the 14th in the U.S. to test a new artificial vision system that's allowing previously blind patients to see. So what Mr. Collins sees is not what we see. And um, it's different life flashes will allow him to form an outline in the shape of a person, an object. The glasses look like the kind athletes wear, but these contain a miniature video camera that's part of a complicated visual relay system that bypasses the damaged nerve cells in Willie's eye. Emory retina surgeon Jean Yun says the system, known as the Argus 2, helps Willie perceive basic images, allowing him to navigate the world around him. It's a shape of things, an outline of a person, a shape of a door, um, you know, there's light turning on, there's passing cars. Willie taught himself how to do everything he needs to do here at home because his wife worked. Recently widowed, though, he says for a long time, if you asked him whether it was day or night out, he wouldn't be able to tell you. Once upon a time, it was just like, it was just night, you know? It, it wasn't no day. But now? It's not real bright like you, you know, real bright. It look like a kind of, uh, like a cloud. If you be blind and you get in a little light or uh, whatever, you be appreciative of that. Touch where you see it. Close. It was lower at right. Because Willie has been blind for decades, he will need intense visual rehabilitation to retrain his brain to use the artificial vision device. On the day we visit, he sits in front of a dark computer screen, trying to find and touch squares of light that are flashing right in front of him. Back at home, Willie says he can see a flicker of light on his once dark TV screen. That little flicker mean a lot to me. You know, people who have good eyesight, it don't mean nothing to them, but it mean a lot to me. Because this tiny step forward feels like a big deal. Every year is something new coming out. I never dreamed that nothing would come out of it. And I'm just absolutely, you know, people say, how can you be so excited? I am very excited. And the Argus 2 has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. It's designed for adults who are 25 and older who have advanced RP like Mr. Collins does. And he says he hopes that the system that he's helping to pioneer right now will one day really be able to help the next generation of young people who are facing the same diagnosis and the same vision loss. And he says if he can do that, if he can help like one young person sure. coming up, then it's all this work is worth it for him. Yeah, well, this is a big step in the right direction. Yeah, it really is. And I, I swear we meet people who have great attitude, but Mr. Collins is one of the most special. Sense Phenomenal. of humor intact. Yes, he is. All right, Beth, thanks.